Hey guys, Mike here at MS Tutorials, and welcome back to a new video. All right, well, today we're going to talk about instances. Okay, so how to create an instance. Now, uh, in order to explain that, I'll probably have to show you. And what I'll do is I'll start off by showing you the alternative. Okay, so let's say we have a basic cube right here. All right, I'm going to hit Control D to duplicate that and hit W and pull that out. So I now have two individual separate cubes. And let's say I have a scene where I have a lot of uh, objects that are the same, and I decide that I want to tweak something. I have boards on a fence, and they all need to be taller or wider or whatnot. In this case, if I right-click and go to Vertex and drag select that, I can adjust that one. I will have to go over and do the same here, right? But there's a quicker way. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to File and New Scene. We'll just take a new cube. And instead of duplicating it, we're going to select our cube. We're going to go to Edit, Duplicate Special, hit the Option box. And we're not going to make a copy. We're going to make an instance. We're going to leave this at Parent. And this kind of determines the orientation of your instance. All right. I'm going to leave everything at default. I'm just going to hit Duplicate Special because it's a special way of duplicating. I'm going to hit W to move my instance over. And now if I select the original and right click go to Vertex and select that, you can see that whatever I change in that object is changed in my instance as well. Now, why would that be helpful? Like I said, Let's say you have a number of trees that you have created and you want them all to be taller or you want them to bend over in one direction because of wind direction or whatnot. So it's just a quicker way to work, right? That's all there is to it. So if you've got any questions, let me know. And thank you guys for watching.